armchair here. So this is the armchair of one of the armchair of Hugo Bergman, which strangely found its place to the house of the sister of my ex-wife. <laughs> my kids has the ability to destroy it when we were climbing it. It took me a long time to find this picture. Uh, but it's also a bit symbolic to me because I think the question is uh, what we discussed in the other panel uh, uh, was what kind of the relationship between uh, Bergman and this curiosity for spiritual, spiritualism or the, is it was the armchair or, or as you mentioned he was looking for a move so this is something kind of uh, uh, here you can see the other, the other photo is Bergman in Sweden which uh, Eric for uh, we'll talk about it. Um, so as I think Ari uh, also was talking, so I think you can say, you can look at India in general. I mean, I want to say also one thing before that. I'm not an expert in who Bergman. I mean, I, in the recent years I read a lot, and I'm not an expert about the Rubino teaching. It's very complicated, and even personally I don't like it. Uh, and it's very kind of tokenistic thing, evolving the supermind, even I think some influence of British, British thing on that, but the encounter between Jews and India, this was the, my main subject, and this is how I came to the subject of uh, Hugo Bergman and Robino. But before that, you can see that, uh, as uh, I mentioned, there were the representatives of India in the Jewish world, and also in the Western world, where first was Robino and uh, and then changed to Gandhi, and the third one, the third international figure was Sri Aurobindo, which was, would say, before that they were uh, Vivekananda and uh, Ramana Maharishi, but following as a guru, following the death of uh, uh, um, uh, Vivekananda with the parliament of religion in, in Chicago, so probably the main figure was Sri Aurobindo, he was the main one to make it international uh, in terms of philosophical aspect. In this way, it was uh, it's very curious. Uh, I mean, it's, it's logical that he's the one people uh, were looking about him. Um, I won't go into the biography details of uh, Robindo, probably, I don't know if you know about him, but as I said, he was probably the most important one. He, the interesting thing that he grew up in England as a kind of this national Indian rejection of the Indian sources sent his family to say, like the family where the fathers, if all the kids moved to England, they didn't want anything to do with Indian culture. You know, it's inferior feeling for the British, we have to be westernized. Britain was the empire, the advanced culture. Actually, strangely, but all the people that after that will liberate or will be key figures in the Indian national movement, would have the, their education in England. Gandhi, Nehru, Gina, uh, all of them were lawyers studying in Britain, and this was part of it. You can say that in the colonialism aspect, the roots for the freedom are already there. I mean, in terms of adopting the... So, but the interesting <coughs> thing, so when, why, when he returned to England, to India, he started, or Bindu started to search for his own identity, started to study Sanskrit, um, uh, and uh, developed his what the famous uh, uh, what he called integral yoga. And this is how also Obindo, uh, Bergman is coming because this kind of uh, this it was not mentioned before that so much, but I think uh, you, you would agree that what bothered Bergman was this distinction between philosophy and the life. I mean theology and theology, which in the Western thought it's separated. But like in India, or they imagined India at least. This is combined. We yeah? don't bother about abstract philosophical work, but it's like the life as philosophical, ethical, and religious aspect. And this, I think, it's a key key aspect in Bergman's interest. Later on, as also Boaz mentioned, Mira Alfasa, which came from the cosmic movement, from this, uh, uh, she was a, a student of uh, the wife of Theon. She came to Obindo, and in Obindo, she found like many others, the real guru, and, and, but later on she started to manage the ashram and became the successor, but not the successor in terms of running the ashram, in terms of the divine. And this is a very crucial point which will come later on the question of war and we see um, what's happened. Uh, it's interesting, and this I must take 
thank uh, Enrico, which is very organized, like many of you will send me all the files that we found about India. So, and I also took some photos and other, uh, there are numerous, numerous in uh, Ber uh, Bergman papers in the National Library, there are numerous uh, paper cutting articles, uh, notebooks, which you cannot, no, I don't know if you can read it, I cannot read it, uh, about dealing with India, part of it of the Inter-Asia uh, conference, but many about Urbindo. So there was the political aspects that which Arya mentioned, and there was the interest of, Urbindo, uh, of Bergman in Urbindo. You can see some of it, uh, he kept, uh, and for many years he kept this uh, interest. This is just a small uh, uh, fragment of that. Um, and as, as uh, Boaz mentioned, before, already, probably when he knew that he was going to, uh, was pointed to the head of the uh, conference, uh, the in, uh, all in, all nation, uh, all Asian nation uh, conference, uh, he mentioned first time uh, Obindo. Um, I just, I hope to find new aspects of more profound metaphysical orientation for the writing of Obindo, which I just started to read. So far, I only know very little. In the little that I have to read in Revolution, in Revolution, in Revolution of, of a new humanity. That's something we also, I think, following also with a bit of Steiner uh, idea. Uh, and this uh, essay was published in uh, Aria, which Miral Fassa and uh, at that time her husband, Paul, Re Paul Richard, which is very interesting, this period later, but also a key figure here, they started this Aria Philosophical Review in Obindo Ashram. Um, and uh, and uh, this was the first thing that uh, Bergman read. Uh, but this, uh, this is very correct, what Ari said, when this uh, uh, when this conference, the uh, All Asia, All Nation Asia conference, which now organized to establish himself as the head of kind of non enlightened movement, it has a lot of political aspect, and also I would add, <coughs> like he, he, he didn't want to, I mean, he never objected Zionism, and didn't want to have a delegation from Palestine, he didn't recognize, like he was anti Zionist in this way, like Zionism was looking as part of the British imperialism. But the solution was to find, uh, was found that to, 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 to get a, a delegation from the Hebrew University. And other aspects, so to India you don't send, except David Akuman, you don't send experience statement, really you have to send, some, send somebody to understand, as a philosophical background. They were in the Orientalist paradigm of India, the, the land of the gurus and so on. Apparently part of the, this conference or uh, or before there was something called the Fifth World Religion Federation. I didn't find any material on that, but Bergman was uh, also, you know, these people, they did everything. So he also was writing for the arts magazine, the special correspondent from the, like he was, a, he was writing actually about himself in this way, like he was a reporter and, and the head of the delegation. Uh, but he, and then he realized that he was participating and giving a lecture about Judaism in the Fifth World Religion Federation. And there, where probably, I assume, I mean, I, don't, I cannot see other possibility, he met Dr. Indra Sen, a real friend, a very serious, deep and true human being. Sen later wrote, each time your letter comes, he, wrote, he writes to Bergman, your physical, physical, because there is also the mental and the spiritual, uh, presents almost as I had done in New Delhi, and the vivid touch of your soul become a clear experience. Um, uh, Dr. Indra Sen is very, very, probably one of the most important devotees of uh, Obindo and later of the mother. This is uh, important. He was a psychologist, he studied, uh, he did his PhD in Germany, um, and he was assigned by the mother to present Sri, Sri Obindo teaching in the academic circle. So this was his mission. It's not only as a guru and disciple, but also to spread, you know, advancing. Uh, uh, or be the teaching, and also what you really the plant and uh, doing some other job in the ashram manual, but the main thing, and he wrote in terms of his psychology as part like putting or being the teaching into psych psych the psychological uh, terms, and the, and he met uh, uh, Bergman. They started to correspond. Um, uh, this is just an example of the kind of discussion, what should I do to have the supermind? Uh, and the mother said, uh, uh, in a way, I am the supermind, you know, I am the, uh, uh, um, uh, or 
know, Bindo appeared, appeared to me two or three times, and it was as if he indicated that the Superman was coming on a reversal scale. You know, it's kind of very extreme discussion in terms of uh, um, um, Indian uh, Guru and Disciple, uh, I think, uh, was followed. As Enrico, you will talk about Sweden. Uh, uh, Bergman was sent to Sweden, and then he gave a lecture, a series of lectures. The two people, two Indians that he gave a lecture was one was about Gandhi, and one was about Obindo. You can see here the invitation in, Sw in Swedish for the, um, for the lecture of Gandhi. And also later on, the Bergman published about uh, uh, Gandhi, and in his book, Hogim the Maminim, so the only one who is not Western, is, uh, the, is it's his article about uh, uh, they corresponded between 47 to 58, um, and all the, and this is very interesting. And this coming, you know, I won't go. I get, I probably I won't have enough time. But I think the the big question that also was raised here. I mean, it is the question of a scholar, and I think it's part of all of us in a certain way. How he deals with this uh, kind of. Uh, um, let's say, not academic, uh, not pure academic thing. Like, how can you speak about yoga without practicing yoga? How can you speak about Kabbalah without experiencing Kabbalah? And how can you speak about Urbindo without, without establishing a, a direct contact with the guru? It's not just, and this is very much in the Indian model of guru and disciple, which is a bit not, uh, not common so much in the Western and thought. So, uh, so send right to Berman. I had I had wished that you might have able to establish your contact with your Bindu once, and and then you would have been always able to turn him inwardly. Uh, so, kind of direct contact, which is very it's a basic thing in the terms of Guru. Um, you know, uh, Berman write him about uh, his lecture about Bindu, but it was just about uh, just two weeks after Gandhi was assassinated, so we also had to put uh, Gandhi. But also, uh, Bergman writes that he asked uh, 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 Bindo Asher to send books to the Swedish library. So we also was part of uh, spreading, uh, nobody heard about him in, in Sweden. You can see some of the letters, um, and then, uh, and then uh, you know, Obindo books are very difficult. Uh, yeah, are very difficult. Uh, um, um, so you, and you have to be, you have to know the Indian Sanskrit terms. Uh, I have kindly suggested that I write that you that I should write directly to Sri Aurobindo, but I think the time has not come. As long as I have not studied enough his own writing, and I may find an answer to my question when I continue to read his books. So all this kind of hesitant of to approach. Uh, directly, life divine is the major work of uh, also integral yoga, but you can see here on the side uh, some uh, detail, but, but I will skip that. But then, uh, 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 then start with some difficulties. This is to more into the question of different approaches. For example, there is the Indian concept of Leela, which you know we have to deal with the bad thing also to look at it. It's kind of a god play to so find. And this is kind of make, not making distinction between all what's that happened in life. And Bergman, he is in Sweden with all the Holocaust survivors. Uh, some, uh, and, and, uh, and this was part of his, I think it was part of his mission to, uh, you know, kind of upgrading. And, 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 and in addition to that, what's happening in Palestine, all his vision, virtual <coughs> everything is collapsing. Like all the, the, you know, they were working against the political current in these terms, if in, in what's happening in Palestine. So how can I have adopted the Lila, the Lila uh, attitude? And this is part of uh, his uh, difficulty. Um, um, but, uh, and then the other thing, uh, yeah, so, um, but this letter request the secretary, uh, Lini was the, head, the main the main disciple of Robido, which started it from the beginning, from when he was in jail. Uh, you can see him here. And that, this letter was read to Obindo. Bindo was at that time living alone 
you know, no particular importance. He did, was, didn't have any more active role in the ashram. He was, uh, uh, and the mother was controlling the ashram. Uh, so, but this was read to him loudly and impressed the, uh, impressed the, uh, um, uh, impressed the ashram member. Sent to Bergman, the letter benefited from a complete presentation to the master. So the whole letter was read, and this is, of course, something important. Um, and then again, uh, asking him to come to Pondicherry, uh, even if not physically, mentally. So, kind of the question of crossing the line. Just don't stay just on the line of academic curiosity, cross the line and direct, uh, uh, have the uh, direct approach to Obindo. Another, another subject was meditation versus prayer. I mean, uh, because, uh, you know, this kind of meditation, meditation uh, which Obindo in his book has techniques, um, but I think all of you know that uh, Bergman put a lot of importance to prayers, uh, even, I don't know if he's deciding an orthodox, but he was praying, uh, and, it, and the Bergman said, oh, uh, I, 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 I you know, for me, the prayers, and especially the songs, are the leather and the kind of uh, meditation. Um, and, I can, uh, and then he writes, I'm afraid that my scientific education and the way of reading made this difficult for me. I don't know what to do myself, but I shall try to follow your advice. If you can give me any other counsel, or if you can bring my case before Sri window, I will be very grateful. So all the time he was playing with this trying and stopping, trying and stopping. Um, and then for this answer, uh, for this same answer about this question of prayer and meditation, you said what is very substantial. There is no, we don't make this distinction between life and uh, meditation. It has to be, and this is exactly the meaning of integral yoga, that you put everything together. And I think this was very appealing also to Bergman because I think in the main thing, what bothered Bergman is uh, separation between philosophy and uh, religious thing through all his life. And this probably explains all this uh, curiosity and all these circles that was surrounding him. And I think it is also when he was giving lecture later in the uh, in uh, you sent me uh, I mean, this lecture that he gave uh, for, uh, in France. In France, mm -hmm. I think uh, later on, it's also his and you recommend me to read the essay without intellectual strain. I'm afraid that my study, as I said, it's making it difficult. Um, and, and this, we here do not make a difference between the divine and Sri Obindo. So then it's now coming the more problematic point for, for Bergman. Obindo is actually the divine. It's not a guru that uh, helps you to reach the divine, he's also the divine. Um, and I'm putting, I just put it here because I also have them to Peter Hiss, which participated um, uh, in, the, in the last conference many years ago, and he is a devotee, he's for 40 years in, in uh, Obindo Ashram, and he almost had to leave because he dared to write a biography about uh, Obindo, which he said that he had, you know, Obindo for one year and a half was married. Maybe he had sexual life with his wife. He, had, he almost had to leave India. You can see here down the, the, a little bit part of the critic. You cannot write a biography about the Obindo. This is the attitude now in nationalistic India, the right wing. You cannot say anymore anything you want. But this point will come later on. Uh, Obindo passed away in uh, December 50, and Bergman uh, published uh, in Aaretz, in uh, there was a journal India and Israel. Uh, uh, Boas quoted it that so seeing different, seeing similarity between the Messianic aspiration of uh, uh, the Zionist movement and the Indian that it's not just a state freedom. It's something has to be more, much more spiritual and more uh, uh, religious. I won't go into into it. Uh, but he published a lot. Uh, it's interesting to say that uh, um, um, he, he's mentioned that uh, he gave a lecture also in the Hebrew University. He was something called the Orientalistic Philosophy Society. And he writes that Rubindo is very well known among uh, the, circle, the main big circle in Israel. Oh, it was all these few intellectuals in the uh, Hebrew University. 
I, I'm jumping on, um, uh, and then then it's starting, and then it continues to correspond with Bergman. So then Pobino is not there, and there is the mother. And, uh, and this, I think, it came to the point of this uh, uh, question of Pobindo as divine. Uh, and then he writes that why, you know, and the reporters told, okay, Obino passed away, so now they were, now write directly to the mother and had established her uh, personal connection to, uh, with her. And he is, uh, Bergman is assistant, and then he writes, uh, when uh, my assistant for the, the silence was your kind of problem with you to let her that I should write directly to the mother to seek order with her. My third was when you let her arrive, I do it at once. But then came doubts and scars, which I speak <coughs> to you very frankly about them. Uh, when the Supreme, and then he quotes the mother, when the Supreme Law decided that there should be a world, he first brought forth the knowledge of the world and the power to make, and that is I. And when he commanded me to make the world. So the mother is actually God creating the world. This Miral Passa, uh, I was deeply shocked. I can try to open myself this Bergman rights. I can try to open myself uh, to God, but not to a man. So this was something kind of unbridgeable uh, aspect. So I'm going to the end of the story, as I said, but this is not the end. In in the in the, in the, I don't know, it was it 70 something, this guy, the Bugali scholar, Professor Pidwa Mukoji, was also a disciple of Binder, but he was in Europe, in France, it was a very important one. He, he, he was a friend of the Pascal de Terminis, mm -hmm. Terminis Pascal, and, and he gave a lecture in the Hebrew University and uh, in the radio. But he wanted very much to meet Pompey Bergman, which was very old at that time, because, because of the connection to, uh, um, uh, to Urbino, because he knew that he was corresponding with the Senate. Uh, Bergman also sent some articles and published some articles, and then he came to his small apartment, probably sitting in the same uh, armchair, uh, and, uh, and entering the impressive library where sat the venerable scholar and discovered loads of books uh, 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 by Sri Ovidu. Amused with my reaction, he asked me to take the seat in front of him and, comment and commented on showing me the set. This was our food for thought. David and I went through a video to find some light in our difficult days. Who is David? David Berguillon. Um, and, and then I asked uh, Rico why they were sitting reading together or being or that. He said, no. But the proof that not they were sitting together, but I found uh, there was also a letter from Ben Berguillon to the Obindo Ashram. Uh, and through in the Indusen and through uh, Bergman, um, uh, that the Ashram sent to Bergman three books, uh, you can read it, um, uh, of uh, Obino, and Bergman is going for vacation, and taking, of course, some books about Buddhism, but also taking books about, uh, three books of uh, uh, Obino, you know, uh, int the interest of Bergman in Buddhism, um, uh, is very uh, is very well known, but also he read uh, Obindo. Uh, but and this is related to also to Steiner. There are many references. There are some references in Bergman diaries uh, about the mother. The mother he didn't like so much. I think uh, there is much more negative approach. But he compares to uh, compare his attitude to Obindo uh, as to Steiner. Maybe the two main let's say in this direction the two main uh, person. And uh, as you can see, um, um, uh, in, in, a, in a certain way, he preferred Obrido. He found uh, 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 a better and full, uh, um, uh, let's say, less rejection to Obrido teaching than to Steiner Stein teaching. Uh, you know, yeah. And that's my kids. I was uh, staying three months in Orville, like with the mother. Uh, this is the temple of the mother built in Orville, which today is kind of international, uh, uh, kind of alternative, maybe one of the most important, now, one now in the world. Thank you very much.